<laughs> yeah, the throttle plate being opened. Clear flood disables that. Clear flood disables that. And that makes sense, right? Right. Let me just try to get this gauge in real good. Try to move that more under the hood. It looks like this stupid light. Ah, that's good. All right, crank it. Look at the bouncing needle. So you got about three to five inches bouncing, right? So someone else go and crank it so he can see it. And again, we don't want to use clear flood for this because the plate is open. So now let's do the transducer with the lab scope, which was clear. Okay, left side is ground. Right side is going to be the power from your 9 volt to 5 volt regulator. You're going to ground your scope on this ground wire just like we pictured before. You're going to take the scope lead and put it here. The signal, on the signal wire, which is the middle wire on a GM map sense, is original GM equipment. Okay. Do not buy some cheap aftermarket one because it does make a difference. Okay. This is a inexpensive. I think this whole thing will cost you roughly 60, 70 bucks at the most. Nine volt battery, project box, couple of wires with clamps, solder to the inside. Little switch, LED if you want it. If not, you could just get the 9 to 5 volt, put it right on here with the battery and a short hose. The shorter hose, the better. Everyone good? Okay. 5 volts. Okay, so now let's crank this over. Ready, Joe? Whatever you get, Yep. Knock it and tilt it more up this way. Okay, so there's your cranking back into pulses. Now, we can make that bigger. How can we make that bigger? Dropping down. The Let's drop the voltage. <laughs> there you go. There's some good humps. There you go. Now, if you look at those humps, you could actually see where we were at.